Hello aviators and welcome to another episode of 5x5 from Bose Aviation. My name is Chris Palmer from angleofattack.com and I'm a master CFI and educator based in Homer, Alaska. In this 5x5 series, we're bringing you tips, tricks, and techniques for effective and safe radio communications. On this episode, the topic is flight service. Often pilots get ATC and flight service confused, but they are two distinct and separate services with completely different missions. ATC's job is to separate traffic, especially IFR traffic, and don't worry VFR traffic, they care about you as well. Flight service's job is literally to offer helpful services to us pilots in flight and before flight with their pre-flight services. It's all about us, me, me, me. So if it's so good, why aren't we using these services more often? That's a really good question that I don't want to get too deep into, but I think not a lot of people understand that there's literally an information and helpline you can call while flying and get any flight information you need, weather being one of the biggest items. When you think of the term flight service, that's literally what they do. They offer services for our flight. Let's quickly talk about where to find a flight service frequency, how to talk to them, and the kinds of services you can receive. These days I find that an EFB is the fastest way to get flight service frequencies. Simply go to the nearest airport and look at the flight service frequencies for that airport. Those radio repeater frequencies, commonly a number like 122.2 or 122.0, are the closest to your location. Now that you've found that frequency, how do you talk to them? Super easy. You call them up by name, something like, Kenai Radio, Skyhawk, November 2423 Uniform, broadcasting on 122.2 with the request. They'll come back and you have a chat. You ask them anything. It's quite informal, honestly. You don't have to be worried about saying things perfectly in a structured radio call like you do with ATC. It's very much a collaborative effort. I mean, don't give your life story. You definitely don't want to do that. But just about anything goes if you need or want help. Flight service personnel are trained in weather and aviation services and can help you with any number of things. They're incredibly helpful. So what are just some of the things that they can help with, some of the bigger items that come to mind? They can create, activate, and close flight plans for you. They can also update flight plans, say if you're overdue. They can provide weather briefings and in-flight looks ahead on the weather. This can give you options in deteriorating weather or if you need to make an alternate plan. They can give you any number of PI reps or other reports or forecasts that impact your route of flight. So maybe something new popped up and you didn't know about it, they can help you decipher that. They're also pros at deciphering NOTAMs. They'll help you understand which ones you need for your particular flight and if you need to be concerned about them or not. If you'd like to add a PI rep, AKA a pilot report to the system, they can do that for you as well. It's always good to offer when something is different or unplanned out there or confirming an adverse condition like turbulence or icing. Flight service loves to get those updates through PIREPS. In Alaska, they have the unique ability to look at our weather camera systems while we're airborne and give us reports on how certain cameras are looking. These cameras are strategically located in tight spots and important spots without a lot of weather reporting and they're incredibly useful and they can look at those cameras and tell us what they look like essentially. Of course, we look at that on the ground, but they help look at that in the air when we don't have an internet connection. And of course, they can help in any number of urgent or emergency situations where you may need help just getting out of something or finding a way through it. Flight service is great and should be used by pilots more often. If we all participate more in this useful system, then we can get a lot more useful PI reps out there, and if nothing else, make our flight safer. That's the ultimate goal by all of us, and I think you would agree with that too. So next time you could use a bit more or updated information in flight about weather and such, give flight service a call. We hope you enjoyed this episode of 5x5. Consider sharing with a pilot friend who could learn as well. Also, don't miss the next episode by following and subscribing to both Bose Aviation and Angle of Attack. Once again, I'm Chris Palmer from angleofattack.com. It's been a pleasure teaching you today. Fly safe, and until next time, throttle on.